Now to our first story. You know, quite apart from due deference to tradition and heritage, the appointment and installation of a king in the African setting requires wisdom and tact. Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State has approved the appointment of Oba Akinloye, Olakulein, as the 43rd Olubadon of Ibadan land. The State Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Olushagun Olaiwala, made this known in a statement on Wednesday. Governor Oba Makinde, while congratulating the new Olubadon, and he prayed that his reign would birth greater development in Ibadan land and all your state in general. And from here, we are saying, long may you reign, our dear Olubadon. Yeah, Wale. I think um, all is word that ends well. Mm. Um, there is no way we can automatically change a tradition that has existed since 1820s. Mm. You know, because uh, we have to show respect for the wisdom of our elders. Okay. Ibadan was um, a city that was built, though it was there since the 16th century, but was built around 1820 by soldiers from Eba or Yor, you know, during the turbulent era of civil strife in Yoruba land. Mm. And then, um, because of the different tendencies that came into that town, they had to devised a means of power sharing, which, is, was, which was between the military wing and the civilian wing, more or less like a dark. You know. That's in Ibadan. Yes, in Ibadan Township. Okay. You know. And uh, it was between the, mili the military wing, which is the Balogun, and then okay. the, yeah, the civil. So, you know, the two secessions, you know, we, the, the, you know, over a period of years of promotion of the Balogun line and then the uh, civil line. It was the best that they could achieve at that time in order to maintain peace. Mm. Because by that time had, we are talking of almost 150,000 soldiers, became the most you know, formidable uh, military um, city in Yoruba history. Very powerful, very formidable at, the time. at that time. You know? And uh, so they had to devise a means to maintain peace between the civil population and the media. Okay, let us share power. Yeah. And that's what they have been doing since around 1820. Even when the British came, the British respected that tradition and allowed it to, to subsist. So uh, that's why you've not had any crisis, you know, for very uh, so many years, you know, uh, in Abaddon, between Nova. And at this time around, some of us are worried that because people are trying to say, oh, don't swear him in and all that. <clears throat> no matter yeah. the status of the, support, the person supposed to be the next Abaddon, even if you assume that he's not capable or whatever, he must be the one to be picked. As, as long as he is alive. Okay. We must pick him. Because only God can decide who we will see tomorrow and who we will see the next 10 years. Mm. So there was no way one would have expected the governor for your state to alter you know, an heritage that has subsisted for centuries. So I'm happy that uh, public expectations, uh, expectations have been met. Expectation of history has been respected. Expectation of culture and heritage has been upheld. So we are waiting for the installation of the new Lubadon. Okay. I wish him well. Uh, Paul, my, my trouble here is when politicians double into traditional things. They tend to make a mess of it. But in this case, Governor Shei is uh, showing a lot of uh, uh, respect and uh, he's deferring to tradition. But uh, Governor Shei has, has no choice because mm. Ibadan has established ascension uh, system, okay. which you cannot... It, it is traditional it is tradi ex Exactly. It's not like other towns where people begin to go to litigation because of, um, uh, because of crisis regarding who succeeds. The issue is that the, the deceased king came from the, uh, the civil line. That's the okay. civil line. The Agbeagba line. Now, the next... The, 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 the system is that the next one must come from the Balogun line, the military line. That's the oh. highest chief okay. who, who happens to be this Olubado, uh, the, the one that has just been appointed as Olubado. Oh. That's um, Obaola Kunei. Mm. The only thing is that 
because of most of most Olubadon, most people imagine Olubadon when they are very, very old. So that's why they don't usually uh, stay long on the throne. If I think the longest Olubadon, the longest reign Olubadon should be uh, uh, this monarch that ruled for 16 years. Oh, really? The, yes. The, prince, the immediate predecessor of this current Olubadon just was there for two years. His own predecessor was there for six years, Obasaliu. Mm. But it's a very clean uh, way to ascend. So we can only wish this uh, Olubadon well. I can, well, I can as well say, Kade Pelori, Kibata Pele, say, Kiru Kere, Melowo. Yeah. That's it. Ki Oko Oba, Koma Shawa Lese, Ben. All right. You remember, it, it reminds me of uh, Wale's uh, home base. He shown stool. Mm. Uh, eventually, <laughs> they had an oba. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, towing the traditional line. Line. The line yeah. of tradition. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so just like you said, I think the longest um, Olubado ever had ruled between 1930 30. to 1946. Yeah, already. Yeah. yeah. So, and then um, 16 years. So, uh, it's not as if people that, this, you know, when you get to that, to start, the, the, the fact of the matter is that most of them get, you know, very after long. a very long time of mm. order of, uh, you know, mm. so. Uh, I, I'm told the name is Aleshin Lawyer. Yeah, Aleshin Lawyer. Okay. Yeah. So um, we, are, we, are, we are happy that a, a new king is coming in. Mm. We wish him the best of luck. And, um, only God knows how long he's going to reign. Mm. Yeah. One being cannot... Yeah. Uh, because mm. a child is old enough to die on the date of his birth. Mm. So you cannot say somebody is too old to die yeah, or is too young to live. It's only in nature. Wale, we, we, those who know have told us that death is not the opposite of life. Yeah. It is a part of, of life. life. Yeah. Sure. That, uh, uh, one way of not dying is not to get born. <laughs> but the moment you are born, you must yeah, die. The only way not to die. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's not okay. It's not okay. Yeah. Yes, I, I really like what, what, what you said because mm. anybody, nobody can predict when oh, yeah. Yeah. Obasaliu lived until he was 93. Mm. Mm. Um, Oba, um, what's his name again? The, uh, Aleshinoye. No, no, Aleshinoye. The, 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 the immediate predecessor. Lake Obalogun. Lake Obalogun died at the age of 81. Yeah, Aleshinoye. 81. Oba Alakule is 84. Yeah, okay. So, who yeah. knows? If yeah. God wishes that he lives until he becomes 20 years. or 120, yes. who can stop that? So let's just wish For, him well. 43 others in Ibadan and still counting. Yeah. So if only we, are, we, we don't tamper with the traditional institution. No, we don't. Yeah. Um, okay, then. Let's go to our next story. You know, good old Kano is not just the 